special edition live from the SEMA show. We are here in Las Vegas at the SI Water booth. And since I can't do my down dirty tricks live feed tonight at 8 p.m. like usual, I'm going to do a quick live demo from here. What we're doing here at SEMA, what we're doing, we're doing make and takes. This means I'm doing an airbrush piece over here. Look later on here, we got these skulls. This is what I was doing yesterday. This was an example of a mass design with a mass skull. Airbrush it out and then spectators could come up and do it side by side with me and take it with me. Today we got the wonderful world of FedEx delaying stuff. We finally got my pack of skulls in. So now we're gonna be going with a pack of skulls on the same piece. So let's get started. I'm gonna do one up, show you what I'm doing here, and then we'll get back to teaching everyone here. So if you're at Seattle Live, come by today, go five o'clock or tomorrow. Late in the afternoon, for like two to four, we'll be doing some work. All right, so let's get to it. First things first, we've got our panel here. In the mornings, I've been masking everything up at the FBS booth and showing you how I use the water mask with film and design it. Thought about sticking them on the board. And now we come up here. I got three masks out in this metal panel. I got my tag skull. I'm going to do this one the same way, but I'm going to pinch like I did this one. So you'll see that different result of you know, what a stencil version looks like versus a mask version. Two different looks, two different styles, both are awesome. So you choose which way you want to go. We're going to start with some general Mendes texture effects. What do we always say with texture effects? What are texture effects for? No, 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 no. Therefore, Details. 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 So it's going to keep this loose. It's going to be about a five minute thing. It's going to go through it. Start with the texture. You're going to see the, I got the uh, cream texture. I'm going to be black in here. Using my water eclipse. Uh, right off the box. I'm going to be ten percent reducer in a one to one mix of candy and the 2030. Just to make an interesting background. And I want to thank Cindy from New Water here, helping me with the camera this time. So it just gives a cool background texture. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to shadow around the stencil. And if you want a really in-depth how-to on this skull, uh, on my Down Inverter YouTube channel, there's a two-hour live feed of all the intricacies of detailing the skull. So definitely go over and check that out. But what I talk about is less is more. You can always start with a little bit of paint and then build up darkness. You can always add more. It's hard to take away paint. So you can start light and work the dark. So I'm just kind of shadowing everything out. I'm going to get inside the nose. I'm going to keep these really simple, nothing crazy. It's just going to be a fun look that almost anyone can pull off. Even if you never airbrush, you can come up here. I can show you how to do this and take this project home with you. And it'll look cool. Go here. I'm going to get two little rat tail strokes. It's going to get a little staining or a little water runoff to it. I'm going to in February. Down and dirty, quick and easy. And that's about all I'm going to do for the skull stencil. I'll pull that off. It's already looking cool. It's already a cool piece. I didn't overwork it. I still left some hair, some uh, levels so I could free in more uh, shading into it. Because if I went too black too fast, now I can't shade it anymore. It's already there. So the key is to work it and then build your tone. So now. That skull set, now this flame is over it, so this flame graphic would cast a shadow onto the skull. So I'm going to go around this rim, just like I did the stencil. And that's going to make the whole skull look like an inset in the panel. And now I'm going to come and do this flame. And I'll kind of crease it without paint and just kind of get a feel for the movement before I start. And then I'll start down on the mask, one shot, come off, come around. Now 
now I'm going to see the whole area in, like it's casting a shadow on your skull. We'll get the Inesti that, that, that. We'll Water logo. I'm going to just give it a little embossed look. So I'm thinking of my light source, same thing. Take it down. Shadow. Definitely, definitely. in the skull just to give it a little something but again not going too much freehand depending on your freehand ability you can do as much as you want we'll go through and just give a light light texture in the skull we kind of shade it like a sphere just to give it a little lift a little shadow here under the cheekbones under the teeth it kind of gives that little bit of a radius there shade up here and at this point, you pretty much have to have free hand control. The better you have, the more you can do. The less you have, the least you can do. But it's still going to be a cool piece once on that. So I'm going to do a couple little pick details and uh, send this puppy home. When you get in here freehand, it actually starts making that sense of look out of the piece just by softening those edges. It gets rid of that hard central look around the eye just by softening that stroke. You know, now you almost never thought there was a stencil used. Soften under here. Now you don't see the edge. So you see right here, you can see the edge of the stencil. But if I go in here and just soften that up, it really takes your eye off it. And like I said, you can do as much or as little as you want. You can add other things into the skull stencils. We can tint over with a color. Like I know Michelle Rowe is here around, so she wanted pink. So with the black candy, I got some sunset magenta in here. I can just come over and slowly tint this piece. And give it like a, just a cool magenta kind of flow. Or leave it black or purple, green, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to paint green because Gerald's here. Whenever Gerald's around, you don't paint green. Gerald doesn't like green. Gerald, did I paint green? Uh, I got a team that you want to screw your color. It's like 15 It's your favorite color. Oh, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about being here at SEMA. Yeah, I want to be painting with friends. I can just keep building that tone. I think if you use this stencil somewhere in there, Ooh. probably there, we'll give it a nice, nice touch. Little. Will. Thank you, Gerald. Just a recommendation. So, like, this is uh, part of Texture Effects 3, right? Texture Effects 3. So this was from the third series, and this is a nice swirl of like organic texture. So it'll give a nice uh, look to the bone. It's a kind of radius with the shape of the skull. Right around here with the kind of radius again. I don't. It just starts to add a little more interest. Let's go really pink in here. I'm going to switch back to black. And just going to add a little bit more dark. And then I'm going to unplug that. I'm going to unmask this thing. Day three, my voice is going. Hey, we're tired. But we're responsible. We go to bed early in Vegas during season. Every night. If you guys got any questions or need things, I'll go back through this feed later and go through and answer any questions you guys might have. But if you're at the show, come down, check it out. You paint with me side by side, take home the project, and maybe we'll start giving some of these away as I go. Now it's the best part. Christmas. You can unwrap the gift, pull the final mask off, call it a day. Put my eyes on. I like that color. Oh yeah. Nice, crisp, and clean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my thanks, Mr. Elfman.
easy peasy. Fun little piece. I might transition a little bit more pink in here, just kind of smooth it out. But just to give you an example of a few things we did. This was with an actual uh, mask, like a vinyl mask of a skull. This is quick with the pocket graphics. Then I have a few examples over here. This is snake scales. I did a new pattern I'm working, like a cyber kind of thing. This was freehand with a floral using pocket graphics. So we're doing all sorts of stuff here at SEMA. Yeah, if you are here, come on down. If not, come next time. Check out the videos, and we will see you later. Have a good one. I'm in suit. Live. I guess. Stop it for now. Is it? Are you sure you want to?